Hello and welcome to another video and it's all a little bit different here today. We have a different camera set up and a different angle obviously because we are going to be making our own set of own. And I wanted a really, really, really simple how to because I think a lot of people get very caught up about getting a fancy set of OM and really what matters is that you can have something that you can get your hands on, that you can start learning the forms of the OM and that you can just start from day one pretty much. So you can see here I have some homemade cards that I'm still using to this day. This was wasn't my first set but it was definitely one of them and they are used on a daily basis. You can see this is my daily draw for today and uh, I also have Jane Brideson's uh, Wisdom of the Kayak cards that I draw as well, an oracle deck. But I got some supplies. So um from first off well what how these were how these were made is these from my local um just my local uh book center stationery supply office supply whatever it is and they are a to z guide cards and what i did was because they're blank you can get record cards but they usually have lines on them so i got the blank ones like this and uh my partner uh craft knifed the um tabs off them for me i don't have a guillotine if you had a guillotine gu guillotine that would work much better but there's 25 in this pack it cost me one euro and 70 cents so it is a good option if you are not ordering online or if you can get out into the world wherever you are so that's how those ones were made but then if you are online ordering um i got First off, these were the um, they're natural lollipop sticks and there's a pack of a hundred in here so you get a couple of sets out of that. Some people like the staves rather than the cards so I just wanted to give an option. And these ones were on Amazon for like £2.75 £2 so maybe three or four dollars and you can get coloured ones as well but I just went with the natural ones obviously. And then we got some blank playing cards as well. So these ones, uh, this is a set of 200 cards with a matte finish. If I'm doing that correctly. This camera angle is so new to me, I'm so sorry. Um, they are Apostrophe Games blank playing cards and they're bridge size. So standard uh, deck of cards really, you know. Uh, there's four, four packs in here. Um, with 50 each I'm guessing and they were at like 11 pounds so maybe 15 or 16 dollars but I mean you might be able to get them cheaper or whatever that's just on Amazon UK so we are going to actually make some shit right here so if you just want to if you kind of know what's coming and you don't want to watch me foof and faddle with that then you can absolutely just go and uh, stop the video there and um, go and check out some of my other own playlist because it, there is some interesting stuff going on there but for those of you who want to stick around for a little make and do session it's all getting a little bit blue peter up in here for anybody who is of that age group or that culture and we have some just these playing cards so i just used the 20 so we're going to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty um i'm not going to go through every one but this will make my set of 20 and while i really like these I don't know if you can see, but the, the edges are not quite, maybe if I had a guillotine that would have been easier, but the edges, because we had to cut those tabs off, the edges are not quite, and so they don't shuffle very well. They're not matte, or they're, they are matte, but they're they're not very, um, they don't work very well together sometimes. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. They work grand. I mean, they really do. They work grand, but I kind of wanted a little bit more of a 
polished polished finish so we're going to go with these and they seem to be the same on front and back so don't think it matters which side now one of the things that i had done and i actually do recommend it is made templates so and actually by myself i i drew them and john cut them so i'll just try and get them in camera here and um, what i'm holding up is just two of those record cards with um the the basic stencil basically for the the two different shapes of om now obviously when you're going to the left for that acme you can just use that side when you go to the right for that acme and then when you're crossing over and then for the diagonals as well so that's actually for acme in that the acme is the groups the groups of five of them so if you're confused as to what i'm doing here there is a free three truths about om class at the irish pagan school and you can absolutely um, take that and make sure that you have a good grounding and a good basis and there's also introduction to om and om divination as well so if you really want to learn about the om from an authentic native source you can definitely go there but what i'm going to do is just grab a standard sharpie okay these templates are a little bit bigger maybe but you can center them as best you want Let me just make sure And do you know what? Like, it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you make a mistake, there's 200 cards in this pack. So we are just going to just use it as a guide to draw. And obviously you can use a thicker Sharpie if you want. Um, we are going to draw a... Why did I start here? <laughs> I don't know why I started there. That is Alan. And it doesn't look very pretty, right? But... Obviously, using the template, you can go over it. Uh, you can actually use the template to draw, if you want, like the thicker lines, you know, and then colour them in. You can do it that way. Or you can just not use a template at all and use your eye and make sure that you are doing it whatever way you feel comfortable with, okay? So like this is gonna look messy right but like you're just coloring in basically um so this one now so that's uh that's the first in the final acme actually which is alum or a so you can write a you can write alum on it you can draw something if you want obviously but that could be your basic and um, you can see i'm pretty familiar with with my ones so i tend not to and especially actually if you're trying to learn them and um, it's a good idea to test your memory first so you can draw draw your card and maybe have a reference sheet or something like that that you um that you can refer to but try and test yourself first and see if you can figure out which one it is so you can end up with something like that which is easy um if you are going for let's do beth let's start with beth So we're going to go here and here and we'll go out the middle. I hope this is coming up the right way on the... So 
Let me see. Let me get a bit wobbly. Just go over that line. When you get out of the template. I don't know. Look, this might be incredibly fucking boring for you. You can center that a little bit more when there's that line. Um, if you're doing a card, the reason that I wanted to do this one for you was if you're doing a card that could be red like that or could be red like that, then it is important to make sure that there is a mark for where the bottom is. OK, so this could be B and it's Beth. And and that could make it obvious like that or you if you're not putting the letter name on it the the fee name on it or the letter then make sure that there's a little mark at the bottom just to show you which way is up okay and then i think you get the idea by now but you can come along if you want so standard lollipop sticks okay and this one it's going to be a bit thinner just going for Beth again and obviously you can paint these you can do what you want with them and it can really be that simple You know, so if you're getting the lollipop sticks, I think there's a wider version. So it would probably be a, a good idea to get the wider version and um, just to make things simple. But I kind of like how stick like these were. So I went for these because, you know, I'm like I said, I'm pretty comfortable with the arms. So um, it's not going to make a difference to me. But clarity is your friend when you are starting out. So. You can uh, you can decorate these obviously in any way that you want and um, you can do a much better job than I've done here. In fairness, now, these ones weren't too bad. I was very careful with these ones, but they're still pretty basic and that's OK. And the point I wanted to really make today is that you don't need super fancy tools. I mean, this is this is like a tenner what? around a tenner, maybe 15. Um, but. You can get smaller packs as well. You can definitely get started for like five to ten dollars or euros or whatever pounds, whatever currency you're working in. And just make sure that whatever you're doing is going to be clear that you have it so you know which way is up so that you have the mark on the bottom and you can carry on then and you can actually just start get started and start learning. You know, basic record cards, even with the lines on them, are going to work. I have another thing that I've done, actually, is I have them here. Um, no, of course, they're they're missing currently, but I have gotten just regular playing cards and put a label, a printer label over them. So it's just a regular playing card and it has a, a white sticky label over them and that means then that uh, you can draw what you want on the front of them and that's another really easy way so if you have a deck of playing cards and some stickers you can or some you know white paper that you just cut to size and glue on you really can get started with whatever is in your house right now anything that you can make a blank surface on so you know when you have 20 of or 25 if you're going for the four feather and you can just get going okay so that's the point i wanted to make today it doesn't have to be fancy doesn't have to be complicated you can just start to learn on today okay so slongafold thank you for your attention and your patience and i will see you in the next video